<laughs> Not to spoil anything for anyone, everyone else, but Archie makes a big decision at the end of the first, at the premiere episode. Why do you think he does that? The big decision at the... At the end of the first episode, of the premiere of season three. Oh, about right. What had his fate in the... Right, mm -hmm. well, him being on trial. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we figure out, you know, how that concludes um, pretty early on in the season. Um, and uh, yeah, we, we go from there. I mean, we find out, you know, if he's going to get locked up or not within the first couple of episodes. Right, no, I've seen, I've seen the first episode. I'm asking, mm. like, why does he make the decision that he does at the end? What decision? To go to Japan. He doesn't make that decision. He, he's being forced to go. Oh, he, I think he took a plea deal. Oh, ha yeah. right, right, right. He pleads guilty. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, he says it. He can't. He doesn't want to put his friends and his yeah. family through through all that stuff anymore. Yeah. And I feel like um, the only way just to put the put the misery to an to an end is for him to do that. Okay. So I guess he's taking one for the team. How is what's going on going to affect him and Veronica? Um, their relationship is is uh, definitely put to the test. I feel like um, Archie's pretty isolated during the season. Uh, he doesn't get to see her that often. Um, and then she's got her own stuff going on too with the speakeasy and stuff. And I, I feel like, uh, yeah, I feel like they're definitely, their relationship is, is on the rocks. So what was it like uh, stepping into the role of young Fred in the flashback episode? What did, you, did you have to do anything uh, to kind of get into that mindset? It was great, yeah. Um, I mean, me and Luke know each other so well, so I, it's not like I had to go and do a lot of research or anything, but um, yeah, it was, it was really fun. It was almost too fun. I, I, had to, I had to tone it down a little bit because otherwise it would become too funny, but yeah, it was, it was fun. <laughs> How will being in Juvie change Archie? How will what? How will being in Juvie change him? I think he grows up a lot. I think he becomes a man. I think it also changes his relationship with uh, his old man. I think, um, you know, he... Uh, as you get older, I feel like your relationship with your, with your father changes, especially as a young man. And I feel like um, we see that this season. You know, we feel the... Uh, the evolution of their relationship is starting to change. Were you, were you familiar with the Archie comics much at all? Did you read them when you were, like, when you were no, a kid or anything? I had no idea. Um, until I read the pilot the very first time and then I, um, I searched up the Archie comics and quickly familiarized myself with it. Yeah. Um, are we going to see, because Archie kind of went at Hiram last season in the Hiram-like way, are we going to see his maybe strategy change to try to get back up from what he did? Um, yeah, that's a good question. I, I feel like, um, I feel like there is a part of Archie, uh, the dark side of Archie wants to, uh, he wants revenge. But I, there's also a, a lighter side to him that, that, um, that doesn't want to do it and wants to just wants peace for everyone. Um, but I feel like I feel like there's definitely going to be something coming up between the two. I, I, I doubt that they're going to leave that open. Yeah. Will Archie pick up the guitar again this season? Yes, he will. Eventually, maybe towards the end. Not yet, but we will. I heard Roberto. I heard Roberto wants to bring the guitar back in. Maybe even another musical episode. Well. Could that possibly be a way of coping with everything that he's going to be going through this season? I mean, I hope not. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he can. Uh, yeah. I don't want it to be too dramatic. You know what I mean? <laughs> We've been through that. So in season three, we see Archie go through, you know, another major event in his life mm. after last season witnessing the his father being hurt. Would you say this season he's in a darker headspace or? Um, I would, I would, and I and I the circumstances he's in doesn't help him. Um, yeah, I feel like he has to kind of uh, resort, like his his last resort is to. Um, is, is survival, I feel like, and uh, that's you know, a lot of that first um, half of season three is Archie and the survival mode. Over, over the two seasons, you've shown a lot of physicality on the show. What's been the toughest thing that you've had to do on the show? Um, 
Yeah. Uh, uh, this season by far, I mean, already, and we're only halfway through the season, there's more physical stuff than both the first and two put together, um, which is great for me. I, I love that. I love the physical stuff. Um, but the most, probably the, the most challenging was... Uh, the end in last episode of season one where I'm saving Cheryl from the ice I actually broke my hand doing that scene um, I went too hard on that <laughs> they put a rubber mat down and I was punching it and I broke it it was so cold that I didn't really feel it and then I saw 20 minutes later my hand looked like a balloon so that was probably the most difficult thing first broken bone too <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You got it on screen. Yeah. <laughs> Last question. So of all the characters on the show, who do you think is uh, the most important relationship for Archie in season three? Mm. His, who's the most important relationship like to him? Yeah. The most important to season three. Um, it's a really good question because I don't have that many scene, uh, scenes with a lot of the cast, to be honest, the poor cast. But I would say, um, I would say actually Jughead. Yeah. Jughead. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much.